Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to focus about how to install Apache Scoop on Ubuntu 18.04 operating system. The prerequisite for installing Scoop is uh, Apache Hadoop. So I am using Apache Hadoop version 3. So that is going to be one of the prerequisite which is uh, installed on the Ubuntu operating system on my virtual machine. Okay. So I created a virtual machine using a, a Oracle VirtualBox uh, software. Okay, on top of, the, top of that, we are installing all this Hadoop and uh, Spark components. So uh, let's start with installing Apache Scoop. So I started my uh, VM. So I'm going to log in using a putty. So this is my uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to giving a password to log in. So all my softwares are installed in the software folder of my user directory. Okay, this is the place I'm going to install it. I have a set of uh, uh, um, install st uh, installation st um, steps uh, in my uh, text pad. So I'm going to use this text pad. So if you want to download the scoop latest binary, you can go to this link and download it. So I already taken the link. So basically if you uh, go to this uh, file you can click on this file and so you can this is my latest uh, uh, scoop binary uh, file you can download <coughs> the version uh, which we want so this is the file I'm downloading it okay so I kept it in a as a wget command so I am in the software look folders which is in uh, home directory So based on internet internet bandwidth, it will take some time. So actually, I am uh, um, having a little uh, slow internet here. I am just passing this uh, video to get download. Okay, it got downloaded. Um, because of my internet bandwidth, it took long time. Um, now. It's downloaded in this location, the software location itself I downloaded. So Nick, what we are doing is actually this step, uh, probably if you are downloading from other location, you can copy to software, software location and uh, navigate to the software location, uh, home data making software location. And now we uh, extract the, the binary file, the scoop binary files. Okay, so that is getting uh, extracted. So let's see. Uh, the yeah, scoop. This is a, this will be a scoop uh, installation folder. Now we'll set the uh, uh, scoop home folder. Sorry, scoop uh, home environment variable in the bash rc file. I'm opening in a nano editor, nano space uh, tilde slash uh, dot 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 uh, slash dot bash rc. Now this is ready. Let's go back and set this path. So home data making software and followed by the path, the folder, the directory name of my scoop uh, extracted folder. So I'll place this here. Save it. And I'll source and refresh the bash rc file. Okay, this is done. Let me check the scoop version using the scoop uh, version command so okay the scoop version is scoop 1.4.7 okay this is the uh, version of scoop it's installed on this uh, vm if you want to find out uh, scoop uh, import export command you can just uh, run this so this is the different properties or options available on scoop import so basically scoop is the uh, import export utility it's like you can bring your data from RDBMS databases to Hadoop system. Like either it can actually you can port RD tables in a RDBMS database to uh, file in HDFS. You can actually import from RDBMS table to uh, directory in HDFS, or you can actually import uh, data from RDBMS table to Hive tables. So that's how we can do using a scoop uh, scoop import commands. And the scoop is for export also. Like if you have a data in HDFS or Hive, you can export to RDBMS table. Okay. 
uh, that's the usage of scoop import tool uh, this is a very simple tool um, so it will not take time to you to uh, install and uh, um, explore it explore it uh, this is my home page of my youtube channel data making please subscribe my channel if you are not done and click on bell button and uh, uh, select all uh, to get notification whenever i add new videos uh, thank you so much friends and uh, please uh, uh, go to the playlist of my youtube channel i have many playlist for different components in hadoop ecosystem sorry hadoop ecosystem and uh, spark ecosystem um, you can just go through and practice i uh, most of the playlist i kept the uh, source code also you can take the source code and practice and uh, whatever queries we have you can post it i am happy to help you um, thank you so much friends uh, see you in the next video uh, that will be installation of uh, uh, other ecosystem component in uh, um, NoSQL. Thank you so much, friends.